Welcome back. Celebrating the beauty of human diversity. That's the goal of a new photography exhibit at Creighton's Lead Art Gallery. New tonight, Laura Samuel takes us behind the lens of the people featured in this gallery. Heidi Summer of Omaha slowly looks through a Disney book with her 20-year-old son Hayden. Hayden has Phelan McDermott syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that causes medical, intellectual, and behavioral challenges. Though Summer says the syndrome is challenging, her son is a blessing. I feel like he's taught us more about life than anything ever could. Hayden is one of 17 Nebraskans featured in a photography exhibit at Creighton's Lead Art Gallery. The pictures were taken by Rick Guidotti, a photographer who started out in high-end fashion in New York City, Milan, and Paris. But as an artist, I refuse to see beauty only on covers of magazines. Over time, Guidotti developed an interest in people with medical conditions and began looking at medical textbooks. And when I went to those medical textbooks, I found terrifying images. I found images of kids in doctor's offices, usually naked or in their underwear, with those black bars across their eyes. And that's how I committed my, initially, that we were going to change that. Eventually, Guidotti founded Positive Exposure, a nonprofit that promotes inclusivity through photography, film, and education. What we're doing is we're creating opportunities to work with communities and individuals at risk of stigma and exclusion to celebrate the beauty and richness of human diversity. Guidotti presents exhibits around the world focusing on people with different diseases and genetic disorders, sharing both his photographs and his philosophy. Change how you see see how you change. We all have the exact same need, and it's a need to be seen, a need to be heard, a need to be loved, and a need to belong. On your side, Laura Samble, 6 News. What a great story. Thanks, Laura. Now, the Positive Exposure exhibit will be on display at the Lead Art Gallery through October 6th.